In this video, we will be solving this question which says Ambrose, the nut and the berry consumer, has the utility function u of x1, x2 is equal to 4 square root of x1 plus x2, where x1 is his consumption of nuts and x2 is his consumption of berries. With this information, we are asked the commodity bundle 25,0 gives Ambrose the utility of 20. Other points that give him the same utility are 16, 4, 9, dash, 4, dash, 1, dash, and 0, dash. Plot these points on the axis below and draw the red indifference curve through them. So, firstly, this is the graph given on to us, where on the x-axis we have nuts, on the y-axis we have berries. So, for plotting the indifference curve, firstly, we need to find the, all these points. We want the utility of 20. The first point that gives Ambrose the utility of 20 is 25,0. So, let's plot that. That means Ambrose is consuming 25 units of nuts and 0 units of berries. Another point that gave him the same utility is 16,4. So that would be some approximately somewhere here. Now for Ambrose, if he wants to have the utility of 20 and his utility function is taking the form of 4 square root of x1 plus x2. And we want that the value of this utility should be equal to 20. The first consumption bundle, the question is asking us is 9, comma, dash. That means... He is consuming 9 units of nuts and dash units of berries. Now, what do you mean by that? That means his consumption bundle would be of the form x1, x2. Where your x1 is the units of nuts and x2 is the units of berries. Here in our case, x1 is 9. And this is something we have to find. So, substituting the values of x1 here into this equation, I would be able to get the value of x2 because that is the only left variable for us. So let's do that. Add the consumption bundle 9 comma x2. What we have is 4 of square root of 9 as x1 is taking the value of 9 and we want the utility to be 20 plus x2 is equal to 20. See, sometimes the questions are very simple. Here, you, if even if you don't know any microeconomic concept, this is just plain math. There is a function given to us. There is a functional value given to us. And we are given different values of the variables of the function. All we have to do is just substitute those variable values and calculate the desired variable. So, don't get intimidated by the questions first understand what the question is trying to say here this is the functional form given to us this is the functional value given to us so we are having the equation of 4 of x square root of x1 plus x2 is equal to 20 then we have to calculate the functional value at 9 comma x2 and your function is where x1 is taking the value of 9 so if i substitute it only variable i have to find is of x2 so, there is not much of economics right now involved in this entire calculation. There is just simple math. So, this would be 4 multiplied by 3 plus x2 is equal to 20. That would be nothing but 12 plus x2 is equal to 20. And this gives your x2 to be 8. So here you have a point that gave him the same level of utility which is 20 is 9 comma 8. Again we have to repeat the same procedure at different points that is 4 comma dash, 1 comma dash and 0 comma dash. So where x1 is taking the value of 4, 1 and 0 respectively at different points. Let's quickly calculate the value of x2 at these points as well. Now we have at 4 comma x2. I would be having the function as 4 multiplied by square root of 4 as x1 is taking the value of 4 now. x2 remains as it is as we have to calculate its value and the utility that the uh, that Ambrose is getting from here is 20. So this implies 4 multiplied by 2 plus x2 is equal to 20 
that is nothing but 8 plus x2 is equal to 20 or x2 is equal to 12. So here your x2 is taking the value of 12. Now let's move on to the next point which is at 1 comma x2. That would be 4 square root of 1 as x1 is taking the value of 1 plus x2 is equal to 20. This implies 4 plus x2 is equal to 20. This is your x2 is equal to 16. So your point becomes 1 comma 16. Lastly, x1 is taking the value of 0. Your point is 0 comma x2. That would be 4 square root of 0 plus x2 is equal to 20. This would be x2 is equal to 20. This is your 20. Now, let's plot all these points which are 25 comma 0 which I have already plotted. Your 16 comma, this is your point 16 comma 4. This is your 9 comma 8. This is 4 comma 12, 1 comma 16 and 0 comma 20 which are the points we have already calculated. So if I join these points, since all these points are giving Ambrose the same level of utility, which is a 20, that means they will lie on the same indifference curve. So joining all these points, I would be able to get my desired indifference curve, which is this red curve, which passes through all these points, which we just calculated. So that was all for this video.